Alright guys, so here's a quick, uh, quick video on the TIG features on uh, a TIG Weld 200 made by Longevity Welding. And uh, so now I'm going to go through all the knobs again. I did it in a little bit of a previous video. But now I'm just going to tell you really what each one does. So base amps obviously is your main current that's going to be displayed here. It's uh, just how many welding amps you're going to be using. Pulse amps is a, I believe the max pulse, like what at the pulse at its highest, um, like frequency, I guess you'd say. Um, it's that's that's the amps that it's going to be. Now, downslope and upslope. These ha are zero to five seconds, and what that does is the upslope is let's say I I started an arc, and instead of it going, let's say I have not, let's say I'm I'm welding 100 amps. I click this. Instead of going, if I had it at zero, it would go exactly to 100 amps when I click this button. If I set it to five seconds, then it would take five seconds to get up to 100 amps. So it like gradually cranks the amperage up. You can put it in the middle, 2.5. You know, do it, do whatever. So that's pretty much what that is. Downslope is the same exact thing, but the opposite. When I let off this button, it's like on a pedal when you taper off the the pedal, instead of just dumping the pedal to and you'll get a little fish eye, you slowly let off the pedal, this will do that for you. So that's what that does. It'll be five seconds when I let off that button. It'll take five seconds to slowly diffuse that arc and then let it go. So you can do that. So yeah, I leave those I'd leave those about halfway. It really really depends on what you're doing. But then pulse frequency, it's uh how often it pulses and uh, then pulse width is how long each pulse is set for and uh, then up here the buttons take and stick those are obviously you can get those when it's take that's when you get a take weld and stick when you get a stick weld now 4T and 2T uh, well, I've seen a lot of questions on forums about this and uh, the answer is 2T is I click this button and I'm welding I let go of that button, I'm not welding. 4T would be I click it once and it's on, and I click it again once and it's off. So I don't have to sit there and hold that button. I can just go like that and then weld and put your hands wherever and then just hit that button to turn it off. And uh, then DC and pulse, obviously, is if you wanted to run, run regular current and not use any of the pulse, then you keep it on DC and then pulse if you want to use the features. And then the 5 second to 10 second. I'm still not 100% sure on what that one does, so I'll have to get back to you on that. But basically, I just wanted to go over some of the main things like upslope, downslope, pulse frequency, pulse width, and then the 4T and 2T, which is pretty confusing. It's not confusing, but if you didn't know what it was, there's no way to really guess on what it was. So that's a quick video on the front of your TIG Weld 200 and how it works. Thanks for watching.